A man was given a shepherd puppy as a gift. He kept this pet in his apartment. As he did not have his own house, he walked the dog in the yard of the apartment building where he lived. One day, he decided to move in with another family, and they did not approve of having a dog. The man did not know what to do with his pet. Finally, he decided to get rid of him. He could have given him to the shelter, but for some reason he decided to take him to the forest. He reassured himself that in nature, the dog would certainly survive and find food for himself. Before moving in to the other place, he drove out of town into the forest. There were rumors that wolves were roaming in the forest, maybe a few and maybe a whole pack. No one knew for sure, they only supposed. But it didn't matter to the man, he firmly decided to leave the shepherd in the forest. The man also left some food for the dog before abandoning him. The saddest thing is that the dog waited for his owner for several hours, being tied to a tree. Two days passed, and the former owner went to see how his dog was doing. Something worried his heart, or maybe he understood that he had been wrong to leave his dog alone in the forest. Passing by the place where he had left his dog, he found nothing, only a piece of rope remained hanging on the tree. Something had obviously nodded, as the man found no signs of cutting the rope with a knife. He walked around a little more, and then left. In the car, he sighed quietly, hoping that the dog was alive, and maybe someone had adopted him. Having returned home, the man calmed down and did not think of the dog anymore. His personal life was happy, and he forgot about his former dog. A year passed. The hunting season came, and the man and a friend of his decided to go hunting in the forest. Nobody talked about wolves anymore. They probably were no longer around. Together, the men prepared all the necessary equipment, and early the next morning, they drove to the forest. The way was rather long, almost 62 miles from the city. Two hours later, they were at just the place where the man had left his dog more than a year ago, but for some reason, he did not remember it. All his thoughts were about the hunt, and he was sure that the dog had found new owners a long time ago. The other man was an experienced hunter, so he acted as the guide. He knew the habits of many animals very well, so he easily found tracks of a boar on the grass, or perhaps it was even a family of boars according to the number of tracks on the ground. Going further into the forest, both men lost track of time. They hoped to shoot at least one wild boar that day, and they hurried to meet that goal. Suddenly, they heard a terrible noise behind the nearby bushes that made them stop. It was a dog barking mixed with a wolf howl. At that moment, it seemed that wolves were nearby, and the hunters' fears came true when they came across a whole wolf pack. Being frightened to death, the men stepped back, but then one of the animals came out from the group. He did not look like the others. A moment of silence passed, and then was broken by the words of one of the men. This is my dog. He made several steps toward the predators, but they took it aggressively, even the dog that he recognized as his former pet. The dog showed his teeth and snarled. As he could not approach his dog anymore, the man turned back, saying he managed to survive. Without explaining anything, he and his friend retreated to the car. All the way to town, the man was silent and upset. He felt sorry for what he had done, because the dog was aggressive to him and didn't return to him. The wolves took him into their pack, where he found a second home.